Hello everyone, and welcome back to Valhalla. We're going to jump right back into the room, and see what we have here. Oh yes, that's right, I just bought... Uh, Darumaka? Oh no wait, it was a shoulder massager, right? Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. Okay, so let's see if I have anything here that I haven't read. I haven't recorded in a while, so it's actually been a bit. Okay, I remember reading the, all those things. I have a new thing over here, supposedly. Uh, Christmas cakes, we already did that. AM Township 64 announced. I, yeah, that's that one. Yeah, the waifu machine thing. The monster girlfriend, yeah, we read that. And... Uh, gets historic update. Okay, and this is about the guns thing. Okay, so I did already read all those these last time. I just wanted to make a quick check. Okay, so I guess we can go, since we brought what she wanted, we can go right to work. Good evening. Wow, that was fast. Gillian. Ah, hello, Jill. And that cage? I am. Um, brought my cat. Your cat. Did I hear uh, Yosunori Kato was in the bar? Yosunori Kato? Bring me that bastard! I'll give him the first. I'll give him the fist of justice! I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake! I'll borrow his cap! Wait, what? Wait. There are no evil. <laughs> On Yoji here? Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat! Cat! Well, that's even better! Hey, four! <laughs> so cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a, bag of, a pack of corgis here. Yeah, and we served them drinks, apparently. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, Four, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, like, Gil, do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief uh, got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. And choose this. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh no. I actually get to serve a corgi. It's not in a tux, but I'm serving a corgi. Yo, what's up? Um, lady, did you hear me? Oh my god, it's mouth moves. A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break! It's too early! Shit. Uh, the part-timer is here. Huh? He came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses! Donna, you never change. Just just never change. And he's a Shibi, not a Corgi. Okay, so it wasn't a Corgi. Close enough. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Oh. Granted, Shibis could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking, and dogs used to be roy uh, used by the royalty. Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is! 
boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirts and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks! Anyway, <laughs> oh my god. He will mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in, and cleaning. And cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Apparently they wanted grizzly temples back then. Okay, so we got three of these. Three of the bronze on. Three rat poison. One alcohol, and it's blended. So we have to wait a little bit. It's been a while since I had a blended drink. And there we go. Grizzly temple. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So what brings a dog like you to a to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with Safer Toy Company? What? No! Don't lump me with those uh, hurting supremists. Supremacists, or whatever it was. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Kira. Kira? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Sure. Kira is what I love, but damn is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Kira be the best it can be. What do you do at Kira? Pay treatment for dog uh, for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have the, a menu? Something like that? Yeah, here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Timble is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. The dog uh, wants a fluffy dream. Okay, so... Let's just give a bunch of rat poison to the dog. Optional. I'm going to go ahead and just give him one here. Uh, so we want to just age and mix. Fluffy Dream. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I can't believe I'm serving drinks to the part-timer, which is a Hawaiian shirt wearing sunglasses wearing corgi. I'm sorry, Shiba. Close enough. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate or, or previous work experience or thumbs. Why did you pick a bar? Um... On a whim, too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh, yeah. About the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it... Hey! It's a cat! A cat! Hey, Four. Weren't you in Boss's office? Hello, cat. Wanna play? Let's play! Didn't dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was, was Four? Hello, Four. Let's play. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss's office. Meow.
That was the first time he before actually said something. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll take with uh I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? Alright. Ah, I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Uh, I don't recognize the color there, so... Th that voice... Say! Say! Say it's back! S eh? What, what happened to you? Nice seeing you, too. Yay, say it's back. I'm happy. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one. Don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs, uh, the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I. The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I need to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know. The security systems at the bar are top notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I find out you disappeared, and now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, slow down a bit. The medicines, or the medications make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. S sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knights they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank god these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. Nope, I mean, uh, yes, I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. Say seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. Well, yeah. Sweets, okay, here are the sweet drinks. Sugar Rush is optional. I could just go with a cheap little Sugar Rush. Because that has optional alcohol. And that's sweet, girly, and happy! Okay, so yeah, let's do that. It's simple enough. Two of these, uh, one of these, no alcohol. And it's just all mixed. That's simple enough. Okay. Um, sugar rush. Careful. Yay, this will help me calm down a bit. So what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the uh, the place near the end of the whole thing. I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher places, but landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. There. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? what? N nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. 
I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to take talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally f ow, 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 ow. <laughs> um, how were things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. It, um... Hey, Jill, I want another drink. A, um... Uh, um, a Bleeding Jane. Say ask for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? <sighs> well, it doesn't have alcohol. That's, that's good. Bronze extract. Some rat poison. So, and it's all blended. Okay. Well, I guess we'll give her one, because... Okay, I don't think I've ever served this one, but we'll find out. Here. Ch cheers. Mm. So how were things inside the bank? <coughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people, well... They were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding the safe spots. But then, um... Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. N no, don't worry about it. It's just the... An uh, analgetics still numbing me. Uh, whatever. I, I don't know. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. Say... Mm. That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that? I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know. I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not important. something I can me measure. You were just worried. I bet she's just still in shock. Yeah. Um, Gil. Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. Well, we finally know what happened to say. Holy crap, it's only 18 minutes there. I'm probably going to go ahead and try and work on the next part of the day, because this is a short episode right here. So, I'm going to save it here, and then I'll see how long this takes me. Okay. Uh, well, let's move on here. That was a short thing. Too much heavy stuff lately. I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay. Ooh, hope everything goes all right. Ah, oh, hey, Jamie. Um, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you alright? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do you I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage is a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four. Four's my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they entered my enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Uh, well, I guess there's a couple people who actually have usuals. Four, five. One of these. One of these. Age and next. Here you go. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving a client a punch to the stomach or something. 
Oh, that. In theory, yeah. Gil's the uh, Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read the old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. But seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit uh, measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the uh, dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done nothing wrong. Things like killing someone who that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not gonna be the one dealing with those. With those. The bounty under part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and get, I get paid for it, you could see it as a bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be a one to kill for, pretty, uh, for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter, if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Jamie asked for something bitter. That's a tad too broad a category, though. Maybe something manly would be better. So something manly and bitter is what's... Okay, we've got bad touch is... Did I go on sour by act? Oh, I'm... Ah, that's what the problem is. I, I went to name. Silly me. Okay, bitter. Sunshine is girly. I... I I could literally just give him another gut punch. I'd try not to do that, though, because come on now. Pile driver. It's a manly. It's bitter. That works. Okay, so we'll go with a pile driver. Okay, so it's manly, bitter, and burning. So one, two, three of these. Okay, real quick. Okay, no, that's. I don't think it's there. Okay. One, two, three, and four alcohol. Two, three, four, and all mixed. And this should be a pile driver when it's done. Yep, because that is bitter, manly, and burning. Here. Ah, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat bronze on roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronze on roots have more nu uh, nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. Well, it seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. Although, I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and you are talking to me here, it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Oh yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tale of, to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. 
law enforcement uh, would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch, his information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too he was too good in fact. At one point he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many courts of man accounts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most uh, bothersome criminals and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So no, Jet Black's James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions uh, I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Yeah, that was. That was. And I'm surprised that isn't a movie in this world. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Give me a beer, please. Sure. And he likes his bitter drinks, doesn't he? Oh, wait, this one isn't bitter. Okay, I thought it was bitter. Well, it does you. Good thing I needed that. It does use bitter stuff and also has some alcohol. And it has also some, you know rat poison and it's just a mix here one of mankind's oldest friends cheers one obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does I'm not good with violence that's good it's interesting though when I compare you two it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of dramatic stuff that guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came in here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Gillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone, wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog... I sure hope the next client changes that. Oh! You really did have to say it. Okay, the, the, the um... Uh, hi, you. So, you still work here? I knew it! Er, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job, I needed to drink badly, and I returned to this crack house. Uh, I remember this crack house was nearby. 
What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding chain. On it. Okay. Well, we have my second bleeding chain. I believe this was a, uh, yeah, it's blended. So we have this, three of these, three of these. This is non alcoholic, interestingly enough. Oh, it's sobering. Go figure. And there we go. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea uh, what they do there, but I can follow instructions, and that's all that all that they need. Recently, I've been working with this Cilia girl, working on some experimental powered suits. Ooh, that sounds actually kind of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommended me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just so oh, happens to be a not-bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus, I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What'd they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Corp. Or crap. Even if Zaibatsu's corpse building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho doesn't mean his or her duties go to the next rim job or on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. Did you... Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't notice this before. I wonder if he's like a part Lilim or if this is just a scar or just some neck piece. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. Oh, a big corporation in control of some, uh, is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. All right, give me a Zen Star and try to not mess it up. How can you mess up a Zen Star? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. That's how. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. No, stop it, Bronze. I want my rat poison here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the only thing I do need to check is. It is on the rocks. Here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. Fair enough. Well, she didn't say that, but that's what I would have just said. So, where's the red comet? My boss, she... Jill, four's headed your way. Let's play, Ford, let's play! Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat? The cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll just... Uh, so I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. He said that last time, I'm pretty sure. Yep! I remembered! 
Congratulations, you scared a client off. Force as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go play or something. Right. <laughs> Red Chiba does not take uh, not get angry about anything, huh? Ah, you're back. What happened to say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. <clears throat> Glad to hear that. Did I miss anything? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. Oh. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Oh, I was really hoping for Dorothy to literally bump a jump in there. That's too bad. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. Total earnings, 22530 uh, Drinks total, 1690 30 there. Uh, today's payment. Tips, flawless service bonus. I'm well on that way with the, the achievements. Playing with your cat was really fun. Three hundred extra dollars. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, got ten thousand dollars in the bank there. Okay. So, okay. So next time I wanna, next I want to go buy the beer. I'm not going to take care of that now. I'm just going to read this little thing. For mind the hair. Uh, for mind the hairballs. You leave bigger ones in the shower. Oh, all right. So, we'll come to the end of this day. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.